So that is capturing positioning. Now everything we do is maintaining positioning. So how we put our feet down, how we get set the rest of the way, we're just trying not to drop more. So you're gonna see when I have him bring his feet down next time, we're gonna do it in a manner where it's one foot down next to the pad, not out to the side right away, because if he goes out to the side right away, he needs to push back onto his trap still. He'll quickly flatten out. All right, so the feet have to go close to the pad so we can kind of glute bridge up onto his trap still. So when he bridges up, he'll put his feet down next to the pad. He's going to have his hands up here because there's a big difference between, um, you know, leveraging down without your hands. You'll flatten out really quick. And then using this kind of as a way to leverage that position down so you don't drop uh, positioning. Watch this chest, guys. And you might not see a huge difference, but see, it's just really easy for him to kind of flatten out. You kind of clunk down to the floor there. Now, let's do it again, but put your hands here when you put your feet now. Let's go through the whole thing. So it'll be much smoother when he has his hands here. I can put some force so it doesn't come out, the bar don't come out rack. And now watch when he gets his feet down, how much better he can maintain that position. All right, now he'll wiggle his, feet, uh, wiggle his feet out a little bit. That stable base, good, thank you. So you can see how important grabbing that bar is to leverage yourself down. So that's the process, everyone. That's a step, uh, three-step process I show you guys all the time. That's it right there, the pinch and tuck, the bridge up, slide back, and then bringing your feet down, maintaining that position, which includes holding this bar, leveraging against it, and all that. I'd start right here. I'm gonna bridge myself onto my traps, okay? I pinch my shoulder blades together. I use my feet to push back, lengthen that neck, let everything slide underneath. One tip. Use your armpits at this point. While you're stretching your neck, use your armpits to get your back tight. Jam them down towards your hip. Have your hands here, right? If I don't have my hands here, very easy to me flat now. Have my hands here and think about taking the bottom of my rib cage and my back and then bringing that back. Not thinking about my butt as much, just my rib cage. Because remember, we want that extension in the upper back. The upper back, that's where we're getting a better arch, not our butt. All right, that matters, but focus more on where you're dropping here. So get there. Okay, I'm still up. My hips are still up. And as I wiggle them out, I'll start to naturally drop one foot at a time. The other's pushing back. All right, my hips kind of touch down right here. That's it. I'm good. No weight on my hips. They're just touching. And then from there, I'm benching. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, you can subscribe to the channel over here. You can check out a video related on the topic over here. And then you can check out our most recent video down below. And then in the description box down below, you can also find links for our membership plan and our online coaching program.